Hey guys, it's Kai, and today we're going to make a plasma gun using some tubing and a couple bottles of some delicious V8. Hey guys, so here are the main ingredients of our plasma gun. I have some 3 inch PVC, some smaller PVC, some wood, I have paint for our gun, I have a piece of 10 foot hose, some V8 juice bottles, don't worry, we're gonna empty those puppies out because I'm thirsty. And then we have our energy source, which is a can of Pro Map gas. Now this is different than basic propane gas. This is supposed to burn at a little bit of higher temperature than propane. I believe it has mostly propylene gas in it and less than a half a percent of propane gas in it. So hopefully this is gonna work out for us. But this is the main ingredients that we have. So let's get started and we'll see what we can come up with. So here we go, emptying out the V8 juice bottles. Uh, these were a great choice because the two liter bottles melt, so make sure you use the V8 if you're gonna do this. I use a roto zip to cut holes into the bottles. This is the bigger hole, and then the other bottle is gonna have the small hole which the hose will go into. Kind of clean those out a little bit. Use a file after I use the little roto zip just in case there was any uh, small pieces that were kind of sticking around there. Once I get this done, then comes the time where I gotta glue the bottles together. And I just use a hot glue gun for this. So I just hot glue it a little bit and then stick them together. And once that's dried, I go over top of it quite a bit with hot glue. And then I use some aluminum foil and I do the exact same thing, just going around it. And then I'll just squeeze in the sides just like that. Bandsaw, that only worked for a little bit. <laughs> the blade was dull, but I used this PVC, the three inch PVC to make uh, a base for my bottles to kind of be held in. The, the bottles are round, so I wanted something that was kind of round that might kind of cradle the bottles a little bit. And I think this worked out all right, but I later find out that it's too flimsy once I added the wood. So I had to buy a piece of aluminum to reinforce uh, that base. This is the handle I use skill saw because my band saw stopped working. And then I also use the skill saw and cut the, the butt out, the, to place against my shoulder uh, for the gun. Quite unsafe putting it on that bench, but I was trying to make sure you guys could see what I'm filming. <laughs> I'm making holes for the handle of the gun. I'm just uh, drilling some holes in, and then I put in some screws, and then I'm gonna use this uh, piece of PB PVC as a spacer. Uh, that way I can wrap the hosing around and it kind of in between the handle and, uh, and the base of the gun. So I'm just cutting off those two spacers for myself right now and I use these and I screw straight through those and it kind of hides the screws and it allows it to be um, gives me those spacers then I add the butt of the gun I took some just uh, some self uh, drilling screws and did that painted it and here is that piece of aluminum and I end up having to cut down to reinforce the, the PVC. Hot glue in that and put it on the bottom of it. I end up using uh, some straps to help hold this on as well, but uh, I did hot glue it quite a bit, so. Here I use uh, some clamps. There's actually two clamps there, one that goes around the gun and then one that goes around the tank. You can kind of see it right there in the image. Put the two bottles on and hot glue it. And that is the biggest part of the gun. Uh, the only thing you have to put on next is the hosing. Hey guys, so here's the finished product. Uh, sorry I didn't get to videotape absolutely every step, but you really didn't miss too much. I added the hosing to the gun on the front and the back. And what I did is I got a hosing that's a little bit larger in the front. Uh, to, and added it to the hosing that's a little bit uh, smaller in the back. The way that I added it was, you could have gotten a coupler to do this, but I didn't have one, so I just kind of melted the larger one a little bit. I shoved uh, like an oil funnel into it to kind of stretch it, and then push the hosing in. Now, one mistake I did make with this was, this hosing is going around this way, and the other hosing is going around the opposite way. So it's kind of cool that the fireball will go one way and then switch directions coming out the other direction. But if you don't want that and you just want it to go around a continuous direction, make sure that you add the coils together 
going in the same direction. The other problem I had was after I added this on, I didn't realize that my tube was not gonna fit underneath here. So I had to drill a hole out right in here. Uh, other than that, that's probably all you miss. You have to add a little bit of glue to kind of hold this in, have a second pair of hands, and that's about it. I used some clamps right in here to hold on the tank, as well as back in here to hold the tube. And I was kind of getting almost like a little kink right here, so I added another clamp right in there just so I would make sure that it was gonna be coming out okay and I wasn't gonna get any kinks or anything like that. So here's the gun. It's time to test it out and let's see what happens. So not too bad of a gun. It works pretty well. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty ecstatic about it. Now, I didn't create this whole thing. I've seen a few, few online that have done it, but I haven't seen this version actually made, so I hope this helps you guys out. I'd love to see if you guys actually build one like this and if you have any improvements on the design or anything like that, so send them to me. I'll try to put uh, all the information about this in the links below, but a couple things I want to say is one thing that I did see online is that a lot of people were using the two liter bottles uh, for coke and things like that, those those melt immediately. What I used was the V8 bottles, and I'm glad I made the choice. The plastic is way thicker. It hasn't melted once. These will get hot, but I've shot it about four or five times in a row, and this has not melted. So this has worked out extremely well. It's a really cool device, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'll show you a few in the dark. So, thanks.